I don't know how anyone could not be excited after you see Yuval present Open 19 in the way he does, in this unique way with this passion and excitement because he truly believes in this body of work that he's putting together for the community. Yuval and I met back in September of last year, and I saw him present this initial concept. And I will tell you, it brought to mind a couple of things for me. Number one, there is this thing called collective genius. I don't know if you all have ever heard of it, but there's a book by Linda A. Hill, she's at Harvard, and she wrote something really special in her book, and it says, instead of trying to come up with a vision and make innovation happen themselves, a leader of innovation creates a place, a context, an environment where people are willing and able to, the, to do the hard work that innovative problem solving requires. So I just wanted to say to you all and to the rest of the folks at LinkedIn who have called out to us and included us in this event today, thank you so much for letting us participate. We are honored to be here. And you may be thinking, Hewlett Packard Enterprise. So leaders in this space for a very long time, in the industry going back decades, leaders in the server space, you may know of open, of, pardon me, of the ProLiant product, our ILO systems management, the things that helped bring us here today. But all of those things that helped Hewlett Packard be successful are not what will help us be successful going into the future. So let's talk a little bit about that history. So if you look back several dec decades, Hewlett Packard has been participating in open forums for a very, very long time. You may not think of that, but going back into the 80s, a long time ago, <laughs> before some of us in this industry were even born, you had the ESA consortium and the work that went into that, followed by our x86 innovations and support in those industry standards that brought us the servers as we know it today. And with the emergence of the internet, other types of standards bodies were supported, and HPE participated in those communities to advance that body of work. Because we know that innovation, as I shared with you from Linda A. Hill's quote, doesn't just come from one company. It comes from the collaboration of multiple people, that collective genius that helps you advance a series of aspects of an environment that you want to improve and lead into the future. So just as you've all said, we're participating in this for that exact same reason. We want to participate with a group of folks who want to lead and do things differently in the cloud age. We know that we're in a horizon of change and it's happening at a much faster pace than many of us were prepared for. And so what it requires for us is to participate in these communities and make sure that we have a stand and can learn from one another, but also influence for the future of our industry. At the end of the day, we wanna make sure that you have products that are easy to install and service, and we believe that the Open 19 uh, proposal and the framework and the body of this community will help to advance those efforts. So as you look forward, not only will Hewlett Packard Enterprise be participating in those open communities, specifically Open 19 and the ones of the future that we will create after today, we will look towards this community to help enlighten and enrich the Hewlett Packard portfolio so that we can use our worldwide strength in services, support, and infrastructure to deliver to customers in the new way of compute as we've moved forward. So why is this important for Hewlett Packard? Why would we choose to go this route? Well, what you may not know is that Hewlett Packard has been participating in the open compute space for quite some time, designing product with those open principles and delivering it on behalf of some of the largest cloud providers in the industry, and also doing it worldwide. And we learned from those customers a lot about what their needs are. So what has been helpful for us is learning in this space and trying to apply that as part of a community inside of Open19. It's part of the fabric of who Hewlett Packard Enterprise is. And our objective is to make sure we deliver the revenue generating services for these customers that we support. So as we started to develop our position, I looked into what are the things that are important to Hewlett Packard Enterprise and how do we make sure that we serve those customers in this new way of compute? If you look at the elements of what we hear continually from customers, 
It is around the total cost of ownership of that entire data center. And we believe that TCO comes in multiple different forms. Most of our customers are looking at it through the eyes of the real estate facilities and power that they put together at the very base of the foundation building up from scratch. They're looking at it around workload optimization and performance and making sure that they're fine tuning just to the needs of their business, which is very unique. That's different than the way we had been doing things before where you had one specific workload operating on one server. Now you have these fluid resources of compute across multiple different nodes, and it's important for us to look at how that workload can be best optimized utilizing a modularized offering in your environment. Of course, one of the important things is always just the cost of the hardware itself, the administrative efficiency that you can gain through working in an environment where you have some level of heterogeneity, and of course then the ever-optimized ever look at data center op operations. And all of these helped us to create a set of principles for de designing our, our open portfolio. That open portfolio that we have been creating is based on some core design principles, and most of them align very clearly with the Open 19 vision and the objectives that this community is aiming to make a reality. So as we walk through and start to create that design principles for our products, we are looking at it through that lens. And I believe very firmly that the Open 19 design will help us to continue to advance those efforts, refine our approach, and make sure we can deliver the right compute of the future. The product today that we sell in this space is not one that you may have heard of because we utilize it and sell it into some of the largest data centers, cloud data centers in the industry. It is called the CloudLine portfolio, and we have it in rack mount, multi-node, and rack scale versions of the portfolio, and we look to have very soon one that is Open 19 compliant and supported. So with that, I would like to say again, thank you so much for letting us take this opportunity to Yuval and the other Open 19 members. We are excited to participate. And later this afternoon, you'll get an opportunity to meet my colleague, Kurt Belisar. He is probably one of the best um, sales engineers, former developers of server technology that I've ever met in the industry. He's highly focused on customers. He spends an immense amount of time on an airplane flying around the country and abroad to go talk to them about their environment, create customized solutions that work for them. And so he will be on the board for Open 19. So I'd like for you to give him a big round of applause when he comes up later. And again, thank you so much for your time today. <laughs>